in there, Bill? Good, we're ready to go. Okay. Hi there, and welcome back to the show. Time once again for our how-to segment, and boy, have we got a hot day here in Ventura to replace the LP gas detector, and helping us once again is Bill Gare. And Bill, we got a little sweaty day here, don't we? Whew, boy, it doesn't get any worse than this in Ventura. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's explain what we're doing here with the uh, gas detector. Well, this is the major part of it here, of course. It's got the board in here, and it tells the solenoid here what to do to open and close. All so, right. this literally, is the solenoid, this, that's the detector. That's the detector. And literally, if this detects a leak, it's going to shut the solenoid off, shutting the gas off to the system. Okay, the solenoid goes underneath. Right, it's tank. always it's always near the propane tank. Right, and we've checked that already, and it's okay. The problem is here. Okay, so we have to replace that guy right there. Correct, and it's wired in here. So let me go in here. Okay. As you can see, there really isn't much to these. Two screws hold them in, and mm -hmm. I think the manufacturers recommend that these be replaced about every five years, regardless of whether they're working or not for safety. All right, and so this has seen its better days, so it's time yeah, to replace it. Obviously, this has been in there more than five years. Right, and. You just need to pay attention to your wires. If you take them off one at a time, the red wires aren't polarized. So it makes no difference which one the red goes to. Okay. So let's just do it one at a time, like I said. Some of them have wire nuts on, and some of them have butt connectors. You may have to cut them and solder them. Or, but it, either way, it's not very difficult. Okay. It goes right on there. The, the two red wires are the hot wires. One's converter and one's battery. Fairly easy installation as long as you make sure you get the wires straight. It's really not difficult. Anybody can do this. Just watch the wiring code. And like I said, you, there's really not much to that. The yellow wire goes to the solenoid. And then simply put this back in. All right, two screws go right back in, same spot. And like I said, I've tested this solenoid before, so we know that it works. So we literally, all we need to do is turn this on. And you can see it's in the reset mode now. It'll do this roughly for about a minute. Mm -hmm and then you'll hear the solenoid click, and then we'll have gas at that time. This part here sells for about 80 bucks, the solenoid's about 50 bucks, depending right. on where you get them. Beautiful, thank you, Bill. It went on. We're all set? We're all set. Okay, hey, thanks for your help. <laughs> we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.